Russo's brand family. We are family. I'm too tired to be wired. I'm too blessed to be stressed. But I got to admit that I'm too legit to quit. And with that said, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the latest edition of Inspired with Christopher. That's right. I'm back with the vengeance this week. And I just want to say from the bottom of my heart to the Russo brand family, guys, I love you so much. Thank you so much for your help. And for those that don't know what I'm talking about, basically what I'm saying is that uh, Mr. Vince Russo last uh, Thursday, uh, he held a uh, fundraiser for me. Um, and uh, Vince was nice enough to, uh, to, uh, to auction off uh, his first ever painting, okay, which, uh, Vince, he has taken up like a brand new hobby, um, which is painting, which is really cool, and which, and, and, like, which after seeing, like, his first picture, like, I must say, that it was really, really good, um, and, um, and, uh, Bob Ross, and, uh, Picasso, they got, a move move aside because we have a brocasso that's going to be taking their place but anyways like the uh, name of the picture was bro 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 so like bro five times over similar to booker t with five time five time five time wcw champion that's for that's reference for uh like the wrestling fans but anyways um between the fundraising that was done before that on Twitter to um, what was raised during the auction, uh, so far, of like, of like the $3,000 gold that I have um, for the down payment, we have raised $915 so far. Brand family, thank you guys. I love you so much. Um, it's fantastic. Um, so... I, I pray that we continue to do this strong, and I pray we continue to help one another. And which I just want to let you guys know that 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 if you feel bad because you can't give, there's other ways you can help me. And whether that is through things like uh, prayer, sharing. Or something as simple as you sending me like a message on Twitter or Facebook saying, Hey man, you got this. And being positive and being a good, good, just positive person in my life. That's all I could ask for. So guys, th there's many ways that you can help me with like my uh, fundraising that is not just for money. So, um... Just to let you guys know, though, that if you are interested, uh, please check out my Twitter page, which, which like my handle is I am C H M nine one one, and um, you can uh, see a link for a website called Supportful. Okay, and um, that will send you to like the page where you you can donate whether it's a dollar whether it's 350 whether whether it's 500 bucks every little bit is appreciated the same so guys please don't hesitate and I promise you that it's going towards a good cause because I have three ruptured discs I, I, I have a um, my C6, my T2, and my T4, okay, which, which, like, basically, like, the C6, that's in, like, the lower part of my neck, and, and, and like, the T2, and, and like, the T4, um, the, those are in the upper to middle part of, like, my spine, so, those are ruptured, which are causing an immense amount of pain. So guys, if you if if uh, you want to give and you want to help out, by all means, please 
share, pray, words of encouragement by giving financially. I mean, like there's many ways you can go about it. And for the people that have given so far, once again, and I know, know I've said it 500 times over, thank you so much because it means the absolute world to me because that gives me faith and that gives me hope knowing that there's still good people out there that are willing to go out of their way to help somebody and damn it it feels good it feels really good because my ultimate goal is to be the best father husband and be the best man of God that I have been created to be without the pain because just like there's days that I wish that I woke up and I didn't stutter like on certain days there's days that I wish that I woke up not in pain or there's days that I wish that, that I woke up and and I don't have to take pills to manage my pain because it's frustrating because yes those pills are helping me when it comes like the functioning during the pain but like with everything else there's a catch and which like a lot of people which uh, like that which 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 like a lot of people like that struggle like with pain pill addiction you know where I'm coming from okay is that you go from you, you you are taking the pill for the pain to you have to take it just to not get sick and for me it's 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 a really to the point again to where with what I'm taking now that's the case so guys like the sooner that I have the surgery the better off I am because I want to be pain free pill free and just be the best version of myself possible and for those people that have been my num my biggest supporters from my wife Priscilla who has been there from day one with me who has put up with my shit from day one sweetie thank you so much I love you so much you are my rock you are my foundation whenever it comes to when I fall you're 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 there to lift me up figuratively and literally actually okay because th th there's many times where she's had to pick me up because literally I, I I've gotten out of bed to go to like the bathroom like late at night and and like my legs are numb and I literally fall flat on my face so there's many times where she's having to pick me up so guys um, she's been amazing to me and uh, my wife to both my children first off my son James who is just a rambunctious little kid like with a heart of gold straight-A student wonderful son great great brother to his sister just it's just it's just that I hope and pray that I could set the best example possible for uh, the best example possible for him to follow as what it means to be a man of God and what steps he needs to take for him to follow for him to be a man of God as well as my daughter I want to show her what she can look forward to when it, when it comes to the kind of man that she needs to meet in her life because me as crazy as it sounds like a lot of you parents might not realize this but like the with like the rest of your life with with your children the relationships you have with them will what will affect every relationship that they ever have for the rest of their lives it will affect the way that they see and view the world so be careful like with what you say be careful like with what you do and hell recently due to my struggle with depression 
and me having mood swings. Which I, which I'm gonna be very transparent, like with you guys, is that I've been struggling lately, and me and me and me and my wife, we've been fighting more, and it sucks because nine times out of ten, it's normally my fault, which I will, which I will fully like admit that, because I have a problem with. Venting, okay, meaning like you're you're thinking to yourself, okay, okay, venting. What's wrong with that? You simply say how you're feeling, right? Well, for me, whenever I get uh, get upset uh, about something or someone, I, 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 I have a tendency to take it out on m- my wife, and it sucks because. Yes, most of the time, yes, I am respectful about it, but I need to think before I speak, because it's not fair that she's taking the brunt of something that is directed towards somebody else. So, God is working on me, like, with that, and, uh, and, uh, like, the kids, they are watching that sometimes. And it sucks because I because I, I I I don't want them to think, well, well, this is how a married couple should act, or this is how mommy and daddy are. Because I because I I don't want them thinking that that those few moments are the definition of the whole picture. Because it's those few moments that could define. The way that your kids see you. So, but but it, like with me, it 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 goes back to dealing with being stressed out uh, 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 over work, being being in pain. Certain people, like within my household, not pulling their weight, and it's frustrating because um, even like with me having like my physical issues I, I, I still work 40 plus hours a week and yet there's certain people in my life that I pay for that I support due to the fact that they're family and yet they don't have nearly like the physical limitations like I do but yet they think that they can sit on their butts and they can just coast through life thanking people like will foot the bill. But it don't work that way, okay? It don't work that way. Which which I keep telling this person, which happens to be my brother in law that lives with me. Which which I keep to happen to tell him, dude, we might be footing the bill right now, but if something were to happen to us you would be screwed so please while we're doing this right now use this as an opportunity for you to set yourself up for you to be able to succeed because people get very few few opportunities like that in life because the kid is almost 30 years old and still he literally has nothing to show for himself no house no car no job nothing and it's frustrating. And I guess you could say, guys, that I'm venting right now, all right? This is a part of the show that I'm venting this week, all right? Venting time with Christopher. All right. And uh, just um, it's just the thing to where that, that I'm going to start using this forum as a way for me to vent. That way that it can help me when it comes to my marriage. That way, I, I don't have to. That way, like my wife doesn't have to hear it as much. You guys get to hear it. But in all seriousness, and like all kidding aside, if you guys can re- 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 relate to the situation with dealing and like with taking care of somebody that's a deadbeat, let me know. Speak to me. Message me. Um, you can reach me on Twitter at IMCHM911, or you can reach me on Facebook. Look up 
howardmartin07 at yahoo.com or imchm911 at gmail.com. And you, you, you can pull up my page, which, which is a picture of like my son and my daughter. Um, but I just want to let you guys know, because I kind of, I kind of went off track there, that back to like the whole thing with, with like the surgery fund. The main people that I want to thank that are putting forth so much effort to get the word out there is first off Vince Russo. Sir, thank you so much, brother. You are an amazing person. You are a true man of God. And for anybody out there that wants to criticize this man, they could kiss my ass because you obviously are too damn ignorant to see what a true, genuine, caring, loving, wonderful man this is. Because you're so wrapped up in your stupid little fake world of wrestling that it, that you can't get your heads out of your asses long enough to see that, guess what? Wrestling's just a television show. If, if you're making your judgments on somebody based off of them writing a television show that's fake, then you have issues. That gets me to question your judgment and your character whenever people have real issues and real problems, okay? If you hate somebody over them writing a television show, then then I would hate for you to really hate somebody. Let's say somebody let's say somebody kidnapped your child or somebody killed your wife. Would you have that same anger that you have towards Vince Russo over a written television show? Or would you be smart enough to focus that anger towards shit that really matters? Think about it, okay? So, this is part of like my ranting slash thanking people thing. And secondly, okay, for people that want to talk shit when it comes to Matt Coon, you can kiss my ass. Because honestly, all of those trolls out there that think that Matt is a is is like a disrespectful lazy person for those people that think Matt is a bad person guess what you have no clue either because you're making your judgments based off of a podcast or multiple podcasts in which you guys have to realize that Matt says certain things just for entertainment purposes. Okay? Please understand that. But of course, so many of you fans, okay? Which I'm a fan myself. So many of you fans take it so unbelievably serious that you can't really tell the difference nor do you choose to choose to tell the difference between real life and entertainment so Matt Coon in my book is a wonderful man a great individual like a fantastic father and and, and extremely underappreciated and disrespected way too often so Matt brother you, you got you, 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 just a quick quote Woody from Toy Story. No, wait, 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 wait. Not Woody, but like the guy, but but like the guy who sung like the uh, soundtrack from Toy Story. You got a friend in me. That's right, Mr. Coon. You got a friend in me, brother. So, and, and uh, like the last two people that I want to thank. Last but not least, two times over, is Mike Durban. Brother, thank you so much, man, for you going out of your way for you to retweet my stuff. You had me on your show, man. You're doing whatever it takes to get the word out there for my surgery fund. So brother, thank you so much, man. And it's and it's amazing because uh, because I, 
because I can honestly say that I pass judgment on Mike before I before I even got to know him. Just like many of you fans do towards Vince and towards Matt. And guess what? I put those judgments aside. I went on Mike's show and then I saw Mike for the wonderful great man that he is. So yeah, for those people that want to talk crap to me and say, hey man, you don't know, man, because like you're you're just randomly spitting out judgments towards us. No, 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 no. Because I've been in your shoes. Be, because I did the same thing, but I actually bothered to put my ignorance aside and say, you know what, maybe I should give this guy a, 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 a chance. And guess what, through that, now I have a friend for life with Mike Durban. Someone that has gone out of his way for me. So, brother, thank you so much. And someone else that I want to thank is Miss Chantel Air. Sweetie, thank you so much for what you do. Thank you so much for putting me on the network because you are helping me reach a audience that I could have never reached uh, otherwise. So, sweetie, you keep doing what you you're doing. You're beautiful the way that you are, and don't let no one else tell you uh, 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 otherwise. Because we're talking about people passing judgment and people being freaking ignorant. Guess what? Don't let no one hold you down because you're beautiful the way that you are. You're beautiful like the way that God made you. And don't let no one tell you that you need to conform and be in a, be a certain way to fit in to what the modern day world says you should be. Because uh-uh, you weren't meant to be that way. You were meant to be the way that you are now. So embrace it. Be unique. Be different and be beautiful. And thank you for all the hard work you, you do, sweetie, because I'm extremely grateful for that as well. And for all the people that have sent in donations, because I can name off of a few names, but I'll be honest with you guys, I can't think off the top of my head due to the fact that I'm on my phone right now. Uh, but straight up to all my donors, thank you so much, guys. It is greatly appreciated like a million times over, and, and which I've said it time and time again. But, hey, thank you so much. And for, and, and for the gentleman that, that, that gave me a $500 donation th through Vince's auction, thank you so much. And Vince... Sold a beautiful painting, bro times five. He sold two signed copies of both of his books. Um, a a limited e e edition uh, uh, Owen Hart action figure. Um, and and I believe it was two signed uh, Owen Hart programs. And that right there, no, wait, 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 with recent WWE Hall of Famer Jim the Anvil Nineheart. So, so like that right there is worth all five hundred dollars. Hell, more than five hundred dollars. So I mean, like that was like a steal right there for all hardcore wrestling fans out there. So I mean, guys, thank you so much for like your love, like you. You, 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 your caring and your help. And, um, wow, that was a long rant, guys. I'm sorry about, no, hell, I'm not sorry because, because I'm fired up tonight. I'm fired up tonight because this might be part one of a two part episode this week. So get ready to put on your, your, your pants of inspiration, your shirts of inspiration, your hat of inspiration, and get ready to be inspired because there's going to be truth that's coming out of here. And um, 
with what with with a with what I just talked about uh, about like the whole thing. Hey man, what's up? I, no, sorry, I don't smoke. Which I happen to be walking right now outside, but uh, but um, but like the whole thing about people giving. That reminds me of what I talked about like a few weeks ago with paying it forward. And uh, by people giving to my surgery fund, if, 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 that's an example of paying it forward because honestly, you normally get back more than what you, you give if you have a sincere heart. And that's normally how God works. Because I know, like with me personally, um, whenever it comes to me doing things, like uh, me serving like my youth kids, me, uh, me like helping out, um, a, uh, a, like, like, uh, like around like the neighborhood, like a, a around work, like the house, all that stuff, that, that I normally, get back spiritually, emotionally, and physically more than what I give. And it's such a beautiful thing. Because um, last night, and I know this is kind of a sad story, but like, it, but it kind of hit my heart. And it goes to like the whole giving and you getting back more, um, and uh, that, that is last night. Well, it all depends on when. Like I'm recording this. Let's say two nights ago. There you go. Me and my wife. Um, I, I, I got uh, I got like my paycheck. Uh, so we had like a few, like a few extra bucks. So like I was, um, uh, we 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 were celebrating Mother's Day. So uh, so like I took like my wife out to uh, to um, Longhorn Steakhouse, which which I don't know if you, if uh, you guys have Longhorn where you're at, uh, but but like uh, we do here. Um, they got great steaks, great burgers, great salads, um, and, but anyways, um, that is one of our favorite restaurants to go out on, like, a date to, and, um, we thought that it would just be, like, a normal romantic dinner, and just, like, a regular night, right? Well, little did I realize, but God would put somebody in our lives at that moment, that like would teach us a lesson that would would open up our eyes uh, about certain things that like we tend to take for granted because you know how I was telling you you guys earlier that me and my wife like we were fighting more due to me not being able to vent properly lately due to me being stressed out uh, over certain people not being able to pull their weight well last night it kind of got put into perspective with me meaning that like the lady that we spoke to she was our waiter um fantastic service great woman she's from pittsburgh pennsylvania which makes it even better all right so uh Go Penguins, go Pirates, and go Steelers, as long as they're not playing the Ravens. But anyways, <laughs> um, we started to get into like a conversation, and uh, which I started like to tell her that um, me and uh, me and uh, me and like my wife, like we uh, that I was celebrating Mother's Day with her, and that. Letting letting like the woman know how grateful that I am for my wife and what she does as a mom because she goes out of her way and she goes above and beyond 
for the both of our kids because I couldn't thank her enough. She is damn near like the perfect woman for me and for both of our kids. So, I mean, it, short of me giving her the moon, there is there's not enough that I could do like to thank her. I mean, and she and she's not selfish or greedy or nothing like that. But I, uh, but I'm so grateful for her that it's just that I'll give her the world, okay. And but during those times that we fight and d d d d during those times that we argue uh, over things that quite frankly don't matter in, in the long term, we let that void those feelings of love and appreciation and feeling r respected and um, which like my wife has told me lately you claim that you you care for me and you claim that you do this and you and uh, you, you feel that way and this way and da 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 but your actions are saying something else and it's simply because like I said, guys, that I'm letting things get to me that shouldn't get to me, but we are human, and and in like those circumstances, that I should know that I need to be more re reliant on God during those times. So back to what I was saying is that we were having like a wonderful dinner. Um, we had like this waitress and which I was telling her like the story about how that was taking like my wife out and that yes we our marriage has not been perfect lately but we still love each other and 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 like we're trying to fix things and like the lady said to me that you need to really, really understand that that it like that every single day that we wake up, every single moment that we breathe, that 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 is a blessing uh, upon to itself because it's not promised. Okay, God doesn't promise us that. Just like Mr. Russo says. Live each day as as if it's your last, because it very well could be, and never go to bed angry because you could wake up with regret. And th th there's many many times that I have gone to bed pissed off at my wife, just pissed off at the world, and like I have shut out the world, and like I. I've shut out my wife and said, screw it. I, I, I don't care to hear what anybody has to say because I'm letting my anger take over, right? And that's not right. And a great example of the, a good possibility of me damn near getting to where I had that lifelong regret was whenever my dad was dying, um, my wife, because me and my dad, we weren't talking very much at the time because we were fighting over something stupid, okay? I mean, like, we, I look back on it now and it was stupid. Um, as crazy, as crazy as it sounds, we we were fighting over money okay and it's just kind of like it's not worth it really and um my wife she had a feeling that something bad was about to happen to my dad and she said to me sweetie we have to go see you like your father please put your pride aside please stop being so ignorant Please stop being so hard-headed and let's go see your dad. And which I'm thinking to myself, 
You know what? She's just doing this as a ploy. She, uh, she's just doing this as a ploy to get me and my dad to talk again. But little did I realize that um, she was right because we, um, if um, b because like we went to like the hospice place after um, my uh, wife, she 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 convinced me to go and right then and there I made peace with my father um, that's important for the story that I'm telling because my dad died two days later okay and just to think if if I wouldn't have followed what like my wife said then I would have been still pissed off at my dad and I would have lived with that regret for the rest of my life knowing that I didn't fix things. And knowing that we didn't fix things. And um, that's a regret is that I was able to avoid. So back to the whole thing with like the restaurant. Like the like like the like, like the uh, lady that like was serving us like was telling me and telling like my wife like the both of you need to not go to bed angry like the both of you need to every at, at every opportunity possible make time to sit down and talk things out because like we don't we don't have like a, a guarantee for tomorrow because. She was with her boyfriend, and um, one morning she was getting ready for work, and like she fought with her boyfriend like the night before, and she thought to herself, "Well, hell, we we can just make up, and things will be okay." Because I could play like the hard to get thing and like make him feel like crap, and he's gonna cave in. Because because like with all due respect, you women have a good good way uh, of doing it. That, because like a little secret that I'm gonna let you women on, which some of you men are, are gonna like me saying, is that men hate silence when it comes to fighting. Okay. And it drives us crazy, and you women know that. So, 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 like uh, our waiter, like was telling us, hey, um, that we were fighting like the night before, and which I was gonna wake up with them. We, 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 we were gonna have sex, and then he, we were both gonna go to work. And she went to go wake him up because he was because he wasn't moving and like he was uh, unusually late for work, right? I mean, she was going in at at, at at like a different time. She thought that like her boyfriend like was just tired, right? And she she, she thought. Maybe he's ignoring me due to being pissed off at me. Well, she went up to him. He was purple and blue. No pulse. And not breathing. Her boyfriend died. Due to cardiac arrest that was caused by a staph infection due to a botched dental procedure from a pulled tooth the gentleman didn't realize it at the time but he had MRSA for for like uh, over two weeks or a staph infection and and it went to his heart and it killed him that gentleman didn't realize he wasn't gonna wake up the next morning he probably thought to himself well hell we're fighting now, 
but things will cool off and, and things will be okay. And, and and it didn't happen. So like the lady that I was speaking to and then like my wife was speaking to told us that I was never able to talk to him a a again. That I was never able to make up with him. And for that, knowing that he was the love of my life, I hold that with me for the rest of my life with r regret. And it's sad because they were supposed to be married like within literally like the next week. And they were supposed to start like this beautiful life together. And, um, hold on, guys. And, like, they were supposed to start this beautiful life together, and things were supposed to be beautiful, fantastic, perfect, and all that good stuff. And guess what? different plans happen, different things happen, so, like, the lady told me, sweetie, please, whenever you're fighting with your wife, please, recognize that nine times out of ten, that it's not that important, that in, like, the long term, that is it really worth it, you stressing yourself out, or, like, is it really worth your wife, you stressing her out over it? No. You need to make sure that like the majority of your life has love. Have more good moments than bad moments. And let that love conquer that hate. Or not hate, but let God use that love to help you conquer that anger which which at like the root of things Fights are normally caused by simple misunderstandings or just flat out blatant ignorance or disregard for the feelings of another one, a, uh, of another individual. And guys, it's not a thing where um, you can think to yourself, Hey, let me get back at this person by starting this or, or doing this or doing that. Please take what I'm saying seriously because tomorrow is not promised. And if you have that special person in your life that you know is the one for you, that you know that is the one that is that just lights you up like a Christmas tree, like with joy, peace, love, and happiness... Please show your love for them. Please show your appreciation for them. Because I know like myself, especially recently, that I have failed terribly with that. Because I have struggled due to the fact that I've let anger over my mom and dad die and get in the way. Due to the fact that I've let things at work get in my way. Due to the fact that I have let people that I have no control over have control uh, over me by letting me get angry and through that I, I, I'm taking it out on my wife and, and, and it's not right guys because I don't want y you to think that I'm coming on here being that I'm the perfect husband that I'm the perfect Christian and 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 in like a great man of God because yes I do believe in God like with my whole heart yet yet yes I do believe Jesus Christ died for our sins yes I do believe that if you follow him with your whole heart that you're gonna live for forever in eternal bliss and a place called heaven but we must recognize that we need Jesus because we're not perfect because we screw up because we make mistakes and one thing that I have failed at terribly lately is being a good husband. And and guys, uh, I'm pouring out my heart to you in hopes that if you're going through like a similar situation, 
that you can recognize that you're not alone, that you can recognize that you can get the courage to fix it. Because like for me, my wife has told me that we're damn near past the point of no return due to me being so ill lately. So guys, I'm grateful that I am blessed with such a loving, forgiving wife. But that doesn't mean that I need to continue to let my anger and let my behavior trample on her. Because honestly, she could very easily one day say, screw it. And she could pack her shit, take both of my kids, and go. Then what? Then I'm going to be sad. Then I'm going to be angry. And then and then I'm going to be, to be freaking depressed. Which I'm going to have no one to blame but myself. So guys, please, before it's too late. So, hold on. So guys, please. Be before it's too late please try to reconcile your relationships with your loved ones because tomorrow is not promised you could potentially get, potentially get into a fight with like your wife your husband girlfriend whatever and guess what like the very next day you you uh, go like to wake them up you uh, go like to have like makeup sex with them you you uh make them pancakes and uh, you try to mend things thinking well i have time well guess what that time ain't promised please recognize that and think to yourself at the time first off is what we're fighting over is it is it really worth us stressing out over okay and secondly if you've gotten yourself into like the fights please try to stop think and 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 first off try to consider okay what are steps that I could take to salvage this situation for the betterment of the both of us? What can I do to try to think from the perspective of the person that I'm arguing with into where that I'm trying to get where they're coming from so we can come to a common ground? Because like in most fights, you guys might not I mean there's fights where you're not going to agree period but you can always agree to disagree like within a respectful manner or guys you could do what what I do sometimes that I, things that I need to do more and that is just just choose your battles and you just nod your head and just agree because normally women have good good intuition and in, 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 in like knowing that certain that like certain words and certain decisions are better for certain things than others so like in those situations even even if you don't see like the bigger picture, just please think to yourself, maybe if I just agree with her and maybe if I maybe if I give it a chance, then I will see where she's coming from. And that you can avoid like a huge massive argument through that. So I mean uh, guys, I just just this. Speaking with this lady at the Longhorn Steakhouse, it really had a huge effect on me, okay? And, um, and it's really, really, and it's gotten me speaking to, like, my wife in, in a way that we haven't spoken in, like, a hot minute. 
be, because I've been so mad at the world, because I've been so frustrated, because I have been selfish, and which and which and which I need to realize that it's not just about me, that it's about my wife and it's about my kids and it's about how my kids see me hear me and it's how like my wife sees me and hears me and um, my goal going forward guys is to have better self control when it comes to venting and not taking it out on like my wife as much. That's a goal right there. Secondly, I want to be able to show my wife more often how much that I love her and, and like how much that I appreciate her. And to be more careful like with what I say and like with what I do whenever my kids are watching because for all you people out there like that are listening like that have children please uh, I'm sure that you you guys realize like the kids like they soak everything in like a sponge okay and like the way that I treat my wife that's how that's gonna set the framework for how my son sees the way that he should treat his wife and then, like my daughter is going to look and say and, and like think okay so 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 I guess that's how I should be treated as a girlfriend or wife which which I want them to look at me in a positive way in a positive manner and thank to thank that dad, that dad is setting a great example for us to follow. And plus, plus I want my wife to once again say that she's proud. She's proud to be, she's proud to have my last name. That she's proud to have me as her soulmate and she's proud to have me as her best friend. Because I want that again, guys. But I've let my struggles and I've let everything get in the way of that. So please respect the fact that I'm pouring out my heart. And that I'm letting you guys know what, what the real deal is. Because yes, my wife loves me. And yes, 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 I do love her. But I've taken her for granted... For way too long and and I have stopped putting forth the effort needed to show her the love respect and appreciated that she needed on a daily basis that she deserves to have because I've let my personal feelings towards uh, 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 other things get in the way of that. Please, guys, don't let your frustrations with, with other situations get in the way of you showing your loved ones that you truly care for them, that you, that you honor them, that you re re respect them, and that you appreciate them. Because, believe me, you can make those mistakes one one too many times and then lose your soulmate lose your best friend like the love of your life because I am currently struggling like with with the fact that I that I'm a couple steps away from doing that myself in which that I know that I will regret for the rest of my life so guys please Please learn from me. Please understand that life is too short. Certain fights, just let it go. Just let things go because it doesn't matter in the long term. 
and instead of trying to get one up on that certain person so you could prove your point and you could be the better person quote unquote guess what just let that shit go because it doesn't matter because like the way that God sees it is that you are both equals God wants us to stand side by side with our loved ones no one is meant to be in, no one is meant to, to be in the front and no one is meant to be behind we are meant for being side by side with God in the front leading the way and then that's how you can have a strong rock solid successful relationship don't do what I've done lately don't let anger frustration and don't let uh, 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 other people sidetrack you from from the from the individual that you need to be or the person that God wants you to be so guys thank you so much for taking time together this isn't the topic that I was going to talk about this week, but like God's put it on my heart. Um, I uh, might be shooting like an extra episode um, within like the, within like the next day or two, but like uh, just please listen to what I got to say, follow, and just please show your loved ones that you love them, that you appreciate them, because they can either be gone tomorrow by choice. Or they could be gone tomorrow by things that are beyond your control, like them passing. So please love, please appreciate, and please recognize it. That, that every day is a blessing, that, that every day is a gift. Every day, like we wake up, is called the present for a reason because it because it's a present from God. How are you going to treat that gift that you're you're given? Are you going to let that? Are you going to embrace that gift and say, "Hey, let me show like as much love, respect, and appreciation to the world as I can." And let like the worldly shit go by, or are you, or or like, are you gonna do what I've made the mistake lately of doing, and let the world beat you down, and let that nasty side come out? Please don't do what I've been doing lately, because I'm not perfect by no means, but I'm blessed and grateful that I've recognized that I that like there's steps that that I need to take for the betterment of myself my marriage and the steps that I need to take for me to be a better dad because it's because we're constantly being shaped and molded and we are a work in progress on a daily basis okay every time like we fall flat on our faces God will always stick his hand out so he can lift us up Alright guys, once again, thank you so much for joining me on this special e e edition of Inspired with Christopher. Um, thank you so much for the donations. Thank you so much for the love. Um, th thank you Vince Russo. Thank you Mike Durban. Thank you Matt Coon. Thank you Miss Chantel Air. Thank you Big Vito LaGrasso. Mrs. Mrs. Big Vito LaGrasso. Noel, the whole brand family, all the donors, my wife, and both my kids, and God. You guys are the reason why that I'm standing here right now. Not perfect, but I recognize that I can do better and that I recognize that I can take steps to make you all proud. Alright guys, thank you so much. God bless you. And I hope and pray that you've learned from this episode, that you can grow from this episode, and that you can use it 
as a potential stepping stone for a better life and relationship with your loved ones. All right, guys, thank you. God bless, and have a wonderful day or night, all depending on whenever you listen to this. Boom shakalaka. God bless.